Hello and welcome everyone. I want to start with an apology that it took me so much time to make this new video, but I was extremely busy the past two weeks and editing those videos take me a lot of time. But on the good side, I didn't neglect my social media accounts and I posted everyday pictures from my city on both Twitter and Instagram. So if you use any of those, comment drop a follow so you are up to date with what's going on in Sovietgrad. Anyway, let's jump forward on what's going on. What you see me doing here is an outside amphitheater in my university campus area. So the students can attend different classes or concerts when the weather is nice and sunny. The only time when I was uh, in such a place in real life was when I was around 4-5 years old and with communism regime recently falling down the entire thing was still kinda creepy. Everyone just got out of a massive poverty so you wouldn't really expect to see Disney characters when visiting such a place. But anyway I thought it was a good idea to have this in the city and I will leave you now with some cinematics after this uh, very short time lapse is over. So guess what, I was talking about this entire thing for the past 10 minutes and I realized I wasn't recording my audio. Anyway, here we go again, I'm going to repeat everything. So let's talk about this project that I did with the procedural objects mode, building the palace of sports. The building is located in Minsk, Belarus and I fell in love with the shapes this building has so why not make it from scratch. But before shortly explaining you what is going on, I have a small problem. I still have no idea what kind of format I should have for my videos, so I don't make them too long or too short. And if you guys have any feedback for me, please leave a comment below. But what I'm trying to do is to aim most of my videos to be around 10 minutes long. But this building took me around 5-6 hours to make and I honestly have no idea how to compress so much stuff in such a short amount of time. Anyway, just bear with me and I will keep trying to make the next videos better and better but if you want to see me doing this live and chat with me or maybe help you with whatever questions you have, join me on Twitch where I stream quite often City Skylines and you can see the entire process happening in real time. Now let's talk about this building and the process of making it with procedural objects. Like everyone else, I want to have really nice buildings in my city, uh, but sometimes you just don't find everything that you want on the Steam Workshop, like this was the case, and we all want uh, unique stuff in our own cities. Uh, for a long time, some of you guys told me to make a gym or an indoor swimming building or something related to sports, so I started searching on Google for uh, Soviet gyms and I found a picture of this building. Of course, the only way to get this building in my city was by making it with procedural objects mod. Now, I know a lot of people are scared about this mod or they think it is extremely complicated, but I promise you that it is not. I'll be honest that every time I take a new project like this, I just think like, ah, no way this can be done with procedural objects, but once you start, something happens in your brain and you keep finding ways to make stuff happen. It is a very interesting, challenging and at the same time uh, rewarding or relaxing process, uh, at least for me. Uh, but anyway, the way you start doing such a building is by gathering as many photos as you can from different angles. And you might have seen a couple of minutes ago, I had uh, a few tabs uh, opened in Google Chrome with all the good photos that I found. What you need to do is to look around and try to judge the distance between different elements of the building. In my case this was quite convenient because in one of the photos I saw a truck being parked to one side of the building. So what I did was place a couple of trucks uh, stacked on each other and just eyeball the measurements for how tall the thing should be in relationship with the truck. Another thing that helped me was to count the numbers of front pillars and you can imagine that in real life the distance between those was equal. So I determined how spread apart I want those to be and from there you already have the height and width of the entire building. 
from here onward it was just a process of deconstructing the entire building in different shapes uh, you have to take it really slow and just think how each little thing is connected with the rest of the building and how you can make the same shapes uh, pretty much everything that you try to replicate can be made by starting with a cube which you model in the shape that you want as long as the building doesn't have curves but even then you can work with cylinders and spheres although a bit more tricky if you do buildings like those my recommendation is to work on one side of the building only and take things one step at a time now, for example this building has all those pillars on the side with a window behind them what i did was first get one pillar done then i copy it at an equal distance in a straight line and set it in place and then make sure everything is aligned properly when i know everything is perfect i just copy the entire thing and place it on the other side of the building like i said a bit earlier it is all about thinking in shapes and how those shapes are connected with other shapes so after i placed all the um, so-called elements in place i started to work on the little details like adjusting everything perfectly adding the windows and changing slightly the color of different textures so everything matches perfectly i am also very lucky that a friend of mine mr raccoon uh, made me those beautiful cyrillic letters and i wrote on the top of the building the same text that is on the original building and i also added the that soviet star symbol in the middle for that um, extra comic touch uh, when that was over all that was left to do is figure out the detailing of the outside of the building like parking areas trees stairs all that kind of stuff like i said earlier i am trying to make the videos on the shorter side so i left that part out but i strongly encourage you to watch the cinematics at the end of the video so you get an entire overall picture of the entire building and area surrounding it uh, all right comrades i hope this was at least useful to some of you and if you have any questions or need help with procedural objects or want me to make even more detailed tutorials let me know your feedback in the comments uh, it would help me a lot to understand what you guys really want to see now enjoy the rest of the video and i will see you next time where i will show you how i decorated a very nice park have a great week das vidanya